Being afraid of open water is one of the most common phobias in the world. And for good reason, humanity has a very small understanding of all the things present on this planet and an even smaller understanding of what's going on deep within the lakes or oceans. There have been several instances of people recording terrifying things underwater, however, that are quite eerie to watch. You wouldn't believe the sorts of things that have been observed over the years. Make sure to stick around until the end. You wouldn't want to miss out on a frozen fish seeming to come back to life. <laughs> Here are 15 of the most chilling discoveries made underwater. It is terrifying. Three friends trapped in an elevator, up to their necks in filthy sewer water and no way out. Number 15, Omaha Flooded Elevator. Let me see your best moose impression. Recently, a group of friends almost drowned in Omaha when their elevator began to fill with water. They were rescued by firefighters who had to use cutting tools to open the elevator doors. This is an incredibly scary situation that could have resulted in tragedy. Honestly, I would say this is number one, the most scariest thing in my life. Yep. Hands down. Please, the water is up to our necks in the elevator. Tony reached out to his roommate to get help. The incident highlights the importance of being aware of your surroundings when using elevators. Additionally, it's important to always have an emergency plan in place in case of an unexpected situation such as this. It is also important to know who to contact in the event of an emergency, such as 911 or the fire department. Finally, it is essential to always be aware of your safety when using elevators and to always follow the safety instructions posted in the elevator. These friends were incredibly fortunate to be rescued by the firefighters. It is important to remember that quick thinking and action can mean the difference between life and death in emergency situations. Number 14, Underwater Mud Volcanoes Underwater mud volcanoes are geological formations which can be found in both shallow and deep marine environments. They are formed by the release of mud, gas, and possibly oil from the seafloor in a similar way to how land-based volcanoes are formed. Sat there and looked, all of a sudden it would explode. Sometimes it was just pop, pop, pop. Once in a while you have really violent eruptions so big you almost have avalanches coming at you. Mud volcanoes are often associated with areas of active tectonic and seismic activity and are found in areas of high sedimentation such as submarine, canyons, and continental slopes. The mud and grass released from underwater mud volcanoes can be rich in hydrocarbons and can sometimes form hydrothermal vents. The mud released from underwater mud volcanoes is usually composed of a mix of clay, silt, and sand, as well as small amounts of organic material. It is usually warm and can be highly pressurized, making it difficult to contain. Underwater mud volcanoes are often considered to be geologically important because they can provide researchers with insight into the composition of the seafloor, as well as the tectonic and seismic activity of the area. Additionally, they can provide a unique environment for studying the effects of hydrocarbon release as well as providing a habitat for unique species of organisms. Yeah, and look, see how they bring their things together? Number 13, Marine Flatworm Hunting Prey. The marine flatworm is a type of flatworm that lives in salt water and brackish water environments. The flatworm is a member of the Platyhelminthes phylum and has a soft, flat body. It is usually a yellowish-brown color and can range in size from a few millimeters to several centimeters. The flatworm's body is divided into segments and it has a mouth and two antennae. It has two eye spots that enable it to detect light and a brain that controls its movement and senses. The marine flatworm is a carnivore and feeds on small organisms such as crustaceans and mollusks by using its proboscis to suck them up. It reproduces by asexual fragmentation in which its body splits into two pieces, each of which forms a new flatworm. 
Watching them hurt their prey is particularly creepy because they move in a slow, wriggling fashion, similar to the way a snake moves. They follow after their prey and use their proboscis to suck it up. The marine flatworm can be a pest in some areas, and they can damage coral reefs and consume native species. Despite this, they are unfortunately important for most ecosystems, despite how terrifying they might be to watch. Number 12. World's Deepest Pool The world's deepest pool was recently constructed in Dubai and is known as the Y40 Deep Joy. It is 40 meters, 131 feet deep, making it the deepest pool in the world. It is located in the hotel term Melapini and is filled with thermal water from nearby springs. The pool contains several underwater caves and platforms, allowing visitors to explore the depths of the pool. It also has a variety of features such as a water slide, a diving board, and a system of underwater cameras. The pool was designed to allow divers to train safely and explore the underwater world in a unique way. This pool has become a popular tourist destination and has been featured in several films and TV shows. It also hosts a variety of events such as underwater photography competitions and scuba diving competitions. The pool also provides diving lessons for those looking to learn the basics of scuba diving. It is the perfect destination for anyone looking for a unique and thrilling experience. Just make sure you're not afraid of being underwater. As a real life incarnate of the flying spaghetti monster. Number 11. Floating Spaghetti Monster Recently, reports of what looks like an underwater spaghetti monster have been surfacing. The creature, nicknamed the Sea Spaghetti Monster, was first spotted in the waters off of the United Kingdom. It is believed to be an unknown species of jellyfish, as it has a long, thin body resembling spaghetti and a transparent bell-shaped head. The creature has been spotted in various parts of the UK from the coast of Cornwall to the Isles of Scilly. It is not yet known what kind of impact the presence of the sea spaghetti monster could have on the environment or on other species. Scientists are currently investigating the creature to learn more about it, including its behavior and habitat. The discovery of the sea spaghetti monster is exciting and mysterious, and it may help to uncover previously unknown facts about jellyfish and other sea creatures. It is possible that the creature is a completely new species, or that it could be a variation of a species already known to science. Either way, the discovery of this creature is a great opportunity to learn more about the ocean and the creatures that live in it. Number 10. The Devil Scorpionfish the devil scorpionfish is a species of scorpionfish native to the western Atlantic Ocean, where it can be found in warm, shallow waters, usually near coral reefs and rocks. It is a bottom dweller and feeds on smaller marine organisms such as small fish and crustaceans. The devil scorpionfish is brownish in color and has a venomous spine on its back, which can be used to defend itself from predators. It has large eyes, which helps it to detect its prey. The devil scorpionfish is an ambush predator, lying in wait for its prey to pass by before quickly attacking and consuming it. These fish are not considered a popular food item and are rarely targeted by commercial fisheries. However, some aquarium keepers keep devil scorpion fish in their tanks and they can be collected from the wild for this purpose. If disturbed, he tends to jump the cover very quickly. They are generally considered to be hardy fish and can be difficult to keep in captivity due to their venomous spines. They are also quite creepy looking, as you can see in this video. So most people tend to stay away from them whenever they catch a glimpse. Number 9. Sagami Bay Creature the Sagami Bay creature is a mysterious creature that was reportedly seen in the waters of Sagami Bay in Japan in the 1930s. The creature was discovered as having a long body and a large round head. It had two curved horns that protruded from its head and several long, thin tentacles. It also had large eyes and its skin was described as being black or greenish in color. Reports of the creature were never substantiated and it remains a mystery to this day. It is speculated that the sighting may have been a giant squid, as there have been reports of giant squid in the waters of Sagami Bay. However, since giant squid are rarely seen, it is difficult to confirm this hypothesis. 
Some other theories about the creature include that it may have been a large fish or a whale. These hypotheses, however, have also not been confirmed. Despite the lack of evidence, the creature has been popularized in Japanese culture and is often referred to as the Sagami Bay Monster. It has been featured in various books, films, and video games, often as a mysterious and dangerous creature. The toxic water crisis is affecting Florida from red tide on our beaches to toxic algae blooms and lakes and ponds. Number 8. Florida Red Tide Florida's red tide is a naturally occurring phenomenon caused by an algal bloom of the dinoflagellate Carinia brevis. This algal bloom is often found in the Gulf of Mexico and can cause discoloration of the water as well as death of marine life. It has been recorded in Florida since the 1840s, although its causes and effects have only recently been studied. The blooms can have devastating impacts on local wildlife and marine life, as well as the local economy due to the damage they cause to fisheries and tourism. Red tide blooms can also produce toxins that are dangerous for humans to inhale or ingest. During a bloom, wave action can break open K. brevis cells and release brevitoxins into the air. Winds that blow toxins on shore can lead to respiratory irritation in people and pets, although red tide affects everyone differently. It's especially important for people with severe or chronic respiratory conditions such as emphysema or asthma to avoid being close to It is still not completely understood why red tides form, although scientists believe that it's a combination of high levels of nutrients such as nitrogen and phosphorus, warm water temperatures, and low salinity are all factors that can contribute to the formation. Additionally, human activities such as fertilizer runoff, sewage discharge, and coastal development can all contribute to the formation of red tide blooms. Scientists are still researching ways to mitigate the effects of red tide blooms, but the best solution is to limit the amount of human activities that can contribute to their formation. Gumboots are a type of chitin, which are marine mollusks who have plated shells. They're sort of like gooey isopods. Number seven. Gumboot Chiton The Gumboot Chiton is a species of chiton found along the Pacific coast of North America, from Alaska to California. It is commonly known as the Gumboot Chiton due to its large boot-like shell. The Gumboot Chiton is the largest species of chiton in the world, reaching lengths up to 20 centimeters. Now, this thing is what they call a Gumboot Chiton. It has eight overlapping plates, which form a protective shell around its body. The gumboot chitin feeds on algae and other small organisms using its radula, toothed tongue, to scrape them from rocks. It is an important food source for seabirds, sea otters, and other coastal animals. It is a very resilient species that has a long lifespan, living up to 20 years. It has a remarkable ability to regenerate lost plates and can even regrow its foot if it is damaged. The gumboot chitin is a key species in rocky intertidal habitats, helping to keep them healthy and providing an important food source for other animals. Although it's important for the longevity of the oceans, it is most certainly a creepy animal, and we're lucky that it tends to stay away from where humans like to swim. Number 6. Underwater Base Jump An underwater base jump has recently been performed at Dean's Blue Hole, a blue hole located in the Bahamas. The jump was performed by William Truebridge, a free diving world champion, and was done to set a world record. Truebridge jumped from a platform suspended 20 meters below the surface of the water, and he descended to a depth of 28 meters. He then surfaced and completed the jump with a safe landing. He set a world record for the deepest free dive ever done, and it was the first time an underwater base jump had ever been performed at Dean's Blue Hole. A base jump is a type of extreme sport that involves jumping from a high place and using a parachute or wingsuit to slow the descent. Base jumping is often performed from cliffs, buildings, bridges, or other tall structures, but the jump performed by Truebridge at Dean's Blue Hole was the first of its kind. It required him to hold his breath for several minutes while descending and then resurfacing, and his successful completion of the jump is a testament to his skill, strength, and courage. It's very likely that other thrill seekers will follow in his footsteps soon enough. Before we go on, like this video, smash that subscribe button, and click that notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face while you're sleeping. It's time for today's subscriber pick. This photograph was taken by one part of a two-person diving team that was looking for strange things in the depths. 
and it's obvious that they achieve their goal. The massive creature in front of the diver looks like some sort of cross between a fish and a frog, with long arms that actually come to what looks like hands at the end. This is incredibly rare in underwater life, so it's likely that the creature evolved from some land mammal. Many are skeptical of that fact, but it's true that fish, underwater mammals, and generally all forms of aquatic life have evolved without hands or opposable thumbs, meaning that this creature would be almost one of a kind if not. What do you think this creature is? Do you think it evolved from a land mammal, or does it originate in the depths of the ocean? Remember to comment down below with the hashtag subscriber pick and let us know what you think. Now on to the next topic beachgoers discovered a four-foot lancet fish washed up near the Scripps Institution of Oceanography. Number 5. The Lancet Fish The lancet fish is a species of fish that is found in the deep waters of the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Oceans. It is a long, slender fish that can grow up to six feet in length and is characterized by its large, sharp teeth and its long, pointed snout. Its flesh is considered to be of low quality, but its liver is highly prized for its oil. The lancet fish is a predator and feeds primarily on small fish and invertebrates. It is also an occasional prey item for larger fish and marine mammals. This fish is an important part of the deep sea food web and is also a commercially important species in some areas. It is most commonly found in the open ocean at depths between 600 and 2,000 meters. Despite this, it can occasionally be found in shallower waters such as around seamounts and coral reefs. This is where it is generally seen by humans, and considering how terrifying it looks, it makes sense that most try to get away from it as soon as possible. There is no safe passage here. The Great White rules these waters. Number 4. Great White Shark Captures Decoy Recently, a great white shark was observed capturing a decoy seal in the waters off of Cape Cod, Massachusetts. The decoy seal was part of a research project conducted by the Atlantic White Shark Conservancy. The research project was designed to study the behavior of white sharks as they interact with decoys. The research project is part of a larger effort to better understand the behavior and population of great white sharks in the area. The footage of the great white shark capturing the decoy seal was captured by the Atlantic White Shark Conservancy's OSEARCH research vessel, which was in the area at the time. The footage shows the great white shark using its powerful jaws and tail to capture the decoy seal in a single attack. It's quite chilling to watch and showcases just how dangerous these massive animals can be. The Atlantic White Shark Conservancy has been conducting research in the region since 2009 and has been instrumental in raising awareness about the great white shark population and its behavior. This research will help scientists better understand the great white shark population and be better able to protect them. Number 3. Trees Swallowed by Sinkhole a sinkhole in Louisiana was recently observed swallowing an entire swamp near the town of Bayou Corn. The sinkhole was first noticed in August of 2012, and it has grown to be over 25 acres in size. The sinking of the swamp was caused by a failed underground salt dome that was used to store natural gas. The area is now in a state of emergency due to the sinkhole, and residents of the area had to be evacuated. The state is currently working to contain the sinkhole and is actively monitoring it for further changes. The sinkhole was large enough to swallow entire trees, and the size and speed of its growth have caused significant environmental damage to the area. There have been concerns about the possible release of hazardous materials from the broken dome, as well as the potential of other sinkholes forming in the area. Long-term solutions are being sought to protect the environment and human health of the region. It is estimated that the sinkhole will take years to fully stop growing, and it may even take longer for the area to fully recover. Number 2. Orca Chases Boat An orca was recently observed following a boat in a harbor in Spain. This behavior has been observed in other places around the world as well. Orcas are naturally curious animals and will often investigate objects in their environment, including boats. They may follow boats out of interest or to search for food. In some cases, orcas may become accustomed to boats and follow them regularly. 
This may be out of a need for social interaction or for a sense of security as orcas are social animals. Orcas can be dangerous if they become too familiar with boats as they may attempt to interact with the vessels or riders in potentially harmful ways. For this reason, it's important for people to maintain a safe distance when observing orcas in the wild. They should also be aware of any local regulations regarding interactions with marine mammals. Although it can be cute to watch these animals follow behind boats, it can also be quite terrifying, especially if they aren't familiar with the behavior of orcas. As with most sea animals, it makes sense to be cautious around them at all times. Number 1. Frozen Fish Comes Back to Life most people understand that when a creature is frozen, it is usually dead. Recently, however, a fish has been discovered that can survive the freezing process. The fish, called the Antarctic cod, is native to the Antarctic waters and has adapted over time to be able to survive the extreme cold. The fish has the ability to lower its metabolism and heart rate to near zero, which allows the fish to effectively freeze itself and survive for extended periods of time with no ill effects. This has been a fascinating discovery for scientists and demonstrates the amazing adaptability of nature. These fish are an incredible example of nature's ability to adapt to extreme environments. It is not just the Antarctic cod that have this ability. Other species of fish have also been found to be able to survive in the cold waters of the Arctic and Antarctic. The Antarctic cod is an incredible example of how animals can evolve and adapt to their environment to survive in extreme conditions. So, which of these things do you think are the most chilling? Do you think scientists will ever fully understand all the terrifying things found underwater? Tell us in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe as it helps us to understand what kind of content you enjoy, and that way we can tell what kinds of topics you're looking for next. Tap that bell icon if you're always looking to learn new things, and we look forward to seeing you in the next one.